Meanwhile, a group under the auspices of the Northern Concessive Movement with 593 amalgamated social cultural groups have called on Nigeria's President Bola Tinubu and ECOWAS states to rethink, reconsider and withdraw planned military action on the Niger Republic over the recent military coup by General Abdurrahman Cheni in the country. The ECOWAS leadership, led by Tinubu, is trying to get the military junta then to restore the democratically elected government in Niger. Military attack can lead to civil war. States with land border with Niger, uh, Niger Republic that will be on the firing line are Sokoto, Kano, Katsena, Kebi, Jigawa, Yobe, and Borno states. The Northern Consensus Movement is worried about the President's request from the Senate seeking implementation of a seven-point resolution against Niger Republic, some of which involves military action, cutting off electricity, uh, electricity supply to Niger Republic, ETC. But does the President know the implication of this resolution? That we doubt. We have over 100,000 IDPs in DIFA alone in Niger Republic, and that for over 10 years. Now unresolved. So Nigeria can't afford to support any military junta operations of ECOWAS, especially in terms of its financial implication. They added that Northwest region gave the president the highest vote of over 5 million in the 2023 presidential election and will be swallowed first if the war takes place. Hence, the need to reconsider. We are calling on the president as chairman of the Economic Committee of West African States to reconsider his position, reconsider his stand, and also for the Okwas itself to reconsider her position of waging a war against Niger. Because we in the northern Nigeria, most especially the border states with Niger, will be the ones to suffer. Naturally, if Niger is being attacked from any of the states in Nigeria, Niger will re retaliate back through the same process. And that is to say a lot of our people will be dying. Already we are suffering from insecurity. There is hunger in the north. There is poverty in the north. Our children are not going to school. Our farmers cannot go to farm. And even common businesses, you can't even go to market because, the, because of the insecurity. Now, waging that war will, will make the situation worse. The movement believes that diplomacy is superior to threats and the use of force, which may be difficult to implement, adding that uh, preventing coups is not done by sanctions and threats, but by addressing leadership deficits and corruption, curtailing negative external pressure, and building credible institutions to meet the need of the people. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.